Okay, so hi everyone. Um, could not get a media release form for my class, so I have to do this in my apartment. So anyway, I'm just gonna go through the beginning of my lesson. So this would be my day one lesson for the Holocaust mini unit. And I call it a mini unit because unlike the World War II unit that comes before it, it's not actually a full two week unit. It would just be five days with a project at the end. So as you can see here, we have the agenda for the day. So bell work, overview of the Holocaust, which is a kind of like mini lecture the class timeline creation, which is a project, and then ending on a Twitter quiz where they will do 140 characters on what they learned today, kind of a formative assessment. So the unit for a glance, so again, this is five days, just a mini unit. Day one, we'll be going through the timeline for the Holocaust, 1933 to 1939. I do that because only in 1939 do, does Hitler come up with the final solution and actually start to go through mass executions of Jews. So we're just looking at that beginning period. Day two will be life in the ghettos, where we'll do a simulation of life in the ghettos, so kind of segregating and learning what it's like to be in that kind of living situation. Day three will be life and death in the camps, which will be a gallery walk, so we'll be going around primary sources, and filling out inquiry-based worksheets for it. Day four will be judging the Holocaust, where we will reenact the Nuremberg trials and actually put ourselves in the shoes of the prosecutors who were going after Nazi war criminals. And then day five will be the current affairs project where we'll look at more re recent genocides and do five-minute presentations on those. There are essential questions for the Holocaust mini unit because we need to remember what we're trying to discover as part of this unit. So, number one, how do individuals deal with massive social changes? What kind of stress does that put on people? What did the rise of Hitler do to Germans living in the Third Reich? Why do people fall into an us versus them mentality? Why do we try to put out anger on other people? How do we judge those who are responsible for the Holocaust? What kind of thoughts did the prosecutors have when they were going after those Nazi war criminals? What were they thinking and how did they determine who was responsible as opposed to who would not be responsible? And how can we work against participation in genocide? What can we as individuals do to kind of take ourselves out of that equation and not participate in human rights violations because it might come up at some point. We might have a situation where we have to decide whether to be complicit in these kinds of things. So we're going to mainly be studying the Holocaust through what's called the scope and sequence. And this is off of a website dedicated to the study of these kinds of historical tragedies. And so as you can see, it kind of moves in a circle. So we start with the individual society. We need to think about ourselves and our place in society, which is kind of where we're going to start today. Then we move to we and they. Like I said, that us versus them mentality. How do we move from thinking about our group or our tribe, and how do we convince ourselves that we are against some other group or tribe? Then we move to the actual Holocaust, that day three, going through actual sources from the camps. Now I know most of Students have read night at this point, and so these are going to be mainly visual sources, maybe some videos, some news clippings, but we're not actually going to be reading many diaries because you read probably the best diary that came out of the Holocaust ever. Number four, judgment, memory, and legacy. So again, going through how Nazi war criminals were judged and the legacy that those judgments caused. And then choosing to participate again. Day five, talking about more current genocides and how we can use the model of the Holocaust to determine what individuals in those situations should be doing and how they should be acting and how we can put ourselves in the mindset to not participate in war crimes or just anything that involves degrading other human beings.